what they go do with me now I'm still a talk of the town Don't need assistance, I'm poking them down We turn the smiles into frowns Gang hop out, then we clearing the What's going on, y'all? It's Lauren K. We here at Talk of the Town. And who's in the town today? Same Rose, same Rose. I know, that's right. <laughs> okay, so to start it off, we're going to get started with a game of rapid fire questions just to get to know you better, okay? Okay. Quickly. Answer quickly. Okay, quickly. All right. First question, where you from? Brooklyn. If you could have any accent, which accent would you pick? Ma. Um, no. Damn Spanish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's your sign? Capricorn. Favorite bar from you? Every everything, everything. I can't say everything. Come on. Spit the bar. A bar, oh, right? Let's go. <laughs> MC. Come on. I waited a minute to get where I'm at. The money be calling. I travel the world. I need me a map. I know that's my right. Favorite. Favorite bar from somebody other than you. Shh. Damn. Quickly. <laughs> Nigga, oh yeah, Jay Z, Jay Z. Niggas fantasize about the shit that I do really. Like these rappers rap about all the shit that I do really. Like, I, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. Period. that was my shit. Yeah. A one hit wonder uh -huh. who should have had a longer career. It's a lot of one hit wonder shit. Ten K, ten K count. Ten K. Yeah. Okay. Ten K count. Celebrity crush. <sighs> Ice Spice. If you could listen to one artist for the rest of your life, who would it be? Kanye, Kanye West. Favorite fashion brand? Uh, that's a good one. Louis, Louis. Best fast food restaurant? Mm, damn, I got a couple. Hold on, I'm trying to think. Damn. Oh, brother. I do have a couple. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Is giving McDonald's, Wendy's, no, hell no, nah. Popeye's. I, I steakhouse, I love steak, so I say Wait. steakhouse. I said fast food. Oh, you said fast food. Oh, Wendy's. Oh, Wendy's. My fault. My fault. My Ain't fault. Ain't shit fast about steak. <laughs> what's your least favorite water brand? What's the What's the Pepsi one? The one that um, is that Deer Park? No, no, no. It's it's the Pepsi sponsored by um that water. You know what I'm talking about the Aquafina. Yeah, Aquafina. Mm. Yeah, I don't like that. Okay, respectfully. And one <laughs> song that you hate that everybody loves. Yeah, I, I ain't I ain't really like my shit from A Boogie when it first Ooh, came out. I ain't gonna lie. That's a tough one. Feel okay, and last cat. one. One song that you love that everybody hates. Shh. Everybody. I ain't gonna lie. Family ties, bro. Baby King and Kevin. Okay. Yeah, my boys. My boy don't like that. I don't know why. <laughs> Wow, that's, that's all. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's yeah, all. Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> okay, so before we get into the interview, y'all. Yeah. Off camera, it was some Aquarius slander, and personally, <laughs> I gotta know like what that's about because, as the big Aquarius, I gotta know what's T. Uh, uh -huh. What's the problem? It's my ex, yo. Oh, she's the problem. Yeah, she's the problem. So that one person made you dislike my whole son. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I think that's a little insane. Because I feel like. I feel like once you like meet that one person from that sign, mm -hmm. and you see their bad sign, you kind of think like, I right, order them like kind of like that. Um, but. I think that you should speak for yourself because I don't do that. <laughs> okay. And I, I don't think that wrong. you should either. I think that when you look at the list of like Aquarius that we all know, Carisha is an Aquarius, Oprah is an Aquarius, really? Michael Jordan is an Aquarius. Okay, yeah. so you did your research. Um, <laughs> I know my son. I know my my <laughs> Aquarius sisters and okay. my Aquarius brothers. I might reconsider. I like I might that. Might reconsider. All right, I period. got you. That's all I'm asking is you give it some thought. You know what I'm saying? I give it some thought. <laughs> okay, so Corey St. Rose, <laughs> yes, what sir. made you want your rap name to be your real name? I ain't gonna cat. Um, this this um. I always wanted like awards saying my name because I never had like oh, awards like in middle school and stuff. So mm -hmm. like if I ever got an award for rap, I wanted to say my thing so I can give it to my mom and stuff. Okay, period. Yeah. I like that's a good so reason. So when I got my first plaque recently, I gave oh, it straight congratulations, to my mama. Yeah, we love you. that. I gave it straight to my mom. So I know some people feel like when they have like that separate name, it gives them like a persona, like yeah. it's it's making persona, them perform, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it like helps them separate, you know, artists from. The person. The do you person. feel that at all? Hell like, well, yeah. do you agree with that? Nah, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, sometimes I'll be like, um, 
like I like the the rapping side is Corey, and then like I do auto tunes, so like the auto tunes like Saint Rose, like I'm okay. trying to like do something like that. So yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Okay, so you do break it up, just yeah. still you. Like be like Beyonce too. Beyonce got uh, Sasha Fierce, yeah, something like that. Yeah, so I know you're talking about facts. Okay, come. Cool. So what made you get into music to begin with? My my brother. Um, we used to always go to the movies together, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. me and my brother, my pops, and uh, we used to see like Strike, SpongeBob, all that thing. But it was one time I didn't go with them. Come to find out, my brother showed me it was the Fifty Cent movie, the Get Rich or Die mm -hmm. Trying. So he showed me, he showed me the movie you know, um, illegally online, and then that's when I just <laughs> fell in love with the rap. Yeah, just fell in love with rap from there. So 50 is one of your main influences. Yeah, so 50, my brother slash 50, the reason why I even like got into rap. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so I seen in the interview that you said it took you like 10, no, you only been taking it serious for 10 years. 10 years, yeah. Right, so yeah. what was the click, like the, okay, I'm going to do this for real? Um, I dropped a song before I got out of high school mm -hmm. and like, you know, People was jacking it in the city. You know? They was jacking it in the school. So I'm like, I right, I think I'm gonna do this for real. And then um I just didn't like around as, as, at that same time, mm -hmm. I just kinda have you know when you get out of high school, you like, damn, like what I'm really gonna do, yeah. whatever. I'm like, yo, I'm not really passionate in anything in life besides this. So might as well do this. So that's real shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause a lot of the time I feel like even when you graduate high school, when you graduate college, it's yeah. like that first step, you always imagine it to be planned. But Plan, then sometimes yeah. you get there and you like, I don't know what I want to do. do. Like, yeah, I don't want to do none of this shit for real. I just want to exist. Nah, that was me in college. I, I ain't know right. what. I was going for my mom. And then... I know a lot of people that say that. Then pandemic happened and mm -hmm. I was. I had a, uh, one of my guidance counselors call me and it was, um, called me. He was like, yo, you got 30 credits. You need 30 more. Why you don't just do it on, at home? <laughs> And I just did it at home. Literally. And boom, got my you shit. get to get in that Quizlet on yeah. the low. You yeah. get that Quizlet. <laughs> Quizlet. <laughs> Pass them classes with flying colors. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> so you mentioned 50. You mentioned your brother. Who yeah. else are some of your musical influences? Uh, my son, Ye. Mm -hmm. um, Trav. Um, Trav Scott? Trav Scott, yeah. Okay. Um, Drake. I can hear that a little bit. Um, my son, Rocky. Okay. Um, Big Sean. West Khalifa. Um, it's giving real like 2000s yeah, rap like, right now. Yeah, like all the people I grew up on, like yeah. I listen to like every day when I was in high school and shit. I'm just trying to think of everybody that I get everybody. Yeah, that, yeah, that was mainly them. You from yeah. Brooklyn and USAJ. I'm not going to lie. That's crazy. Oh, no, no, no. Hove too. But like Hove is like, you know, like. Like what? Like that's like, if you from Brooklyn, like that's like automatic. It's a given? Yeah, yeah it's okay. a given. You feel me? But the people them that's not from Brooklyn don't know that. So you, you always got to. Yeah, yeah, we got to remind them whole. Hold for president. Me? You shitting me? You feel Period. Me? That's a, you feel me? So, Still the best rapper alive. No. I, mm, is he? You think so? One of them. I think that he's number two. Think, oh, so who's number one? I think one? he's had the greatest career. I think he's okay. had the greatest rap career. But like on I, I paper, say Drake will have something to say, have something to say about that. I think Drake had the best rap career. Not gonna lie. Um, oh, okay, this is interesting. Drake never had a dad. Because in music, okay. I definitely feel what you're saying. But I feel like Jay Z really just took it all the way outside. I, I, I feel music you shit. with the like, business and all that. Yeah, thing. but I could you. I could take Drake. Mm -hmm. But I feel like as far as like Rapping goes, yeah, I think Lil yeah. Wayne is the best rapper alive. Oh, I ain't gonna lie, yeah, I, I can't, I can't argue with that. Yeah, yeah, Wayne definitely top five for me, for yeah. sure. Okay, so real quick, who your top five? All right, so my top five in order, if you can. In order, if you can't, then I get it. All right, in order, no, nah, no, nah, I could think, I think I can do order. Okay, from wait, wait, five to one. Okay, top five. Okay, rapping or artists, because I could do both. I could do top five artists. Or I could do top five rappers. Do rappers. Okay, rappers. Okay, so my top five rappers is definitely... Okay, Hov. Wait, I'm sorry. At five? Hope is five? No, no, no. Oh, you say in order. Oh, yeah, start at five. five. Okay, start at five. If you put okay, it in five, order, start at five. I put... Okay, I'm going to put Wayne. Okay. Four. I ain't going to lie, I'm going to put Drake. Okay. Three. I ain't going to lie. I gotta put Meek up there. I ain't gonna lie. Meek you know, over Drake and Wayne. No, no. Wait. Okay. Let me put. Dr okay. Let me put Meek fifth. Okay. My fault. Cause I forgot we doing all. Okay. So Meek fifth. Okay. Cause I, I ain't lie. Meek like spit that pain. No, shit, he like, do. He did. 
Dan Wayne, mm-hmm. Dan Drake, mm-hmm. then I say Pac. Oh no, I put Hove, then Pac. I think Pac mm-hmm. overall. Like I fuck with Tupac all day. I'm not gonna lie, he's not even in my five. He's not even in your five. I think at some I ain't gonna lie, point. I put, can, can Tupac and Biggie be one? Okay, see, I was literally about to say, I yeah. think that at some point, we as hip hop lovers have to let go of this big and pock or number one and two thing. I'm sorry. I think we do. I really think at some point we have to stop. No, I, I understand it if like that's genuinely how you feel. And no, given feel like it. that you're really into music, I yeah. believe that that's genuinely how you feel. Yeah. But I feel like a lot of people say it because that they they feel like they're supposed to say it. I feel it. you like people like and the people that didn't really grow up grew up in it. I feel you just I'm gonna keep like it a stack. Just, Biggie had two albums. One album. Yeah. Two? One, two. Nah, but I'm not gonna lie, like the way Biggie flowed, like I ain't gonna lie, nobody. What he did like do that. was incredible. Yeah. But when you look at the fact that it's 2023 now and not we not have niggas sure. like Wayne and Jay Z and Nicki Minaj, it's just like. But you could say the same thing about Ho, cause Ho, but I, wait, no, but, you but can't. You got two things, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, all right, I see. Okay, okay. But I mean, I see what you're saying. I see I what you're saying because you know. rappers evolve. It's 20 years. It, that's like, what I'm okay, saying. I, I feel like okay. it's just at some point they're gonna age out. Age you feel out. me? Yeah, like, I feel you. I feel so you. I was watching a podcast the other day. Okay. And they were talking about, um, they were debating whether an uh, instant classic is a okay. thing. Okay. So what do you think, especially given like all the people that you listen to? Like, do you yeah. feel like an album can be an instant classic? Hell yeah. When I first listened to Washington Throne, I said, yeah, this is it. Mm, that's a good one. When I one. first heard Yeezus, Life of Pablo, um, Travis Scott, um, Rodeo. not Astro World, um, Days Before Rodeo, just like mm. his mixtape. I, I thought that was a classic. When I heard ASAP Rocky, Long Live ASAP, mm-hmm. I was like, nah, this is a classic. Um, what makes that album an instant classic to you? To me personally, like multiple songs that I'm like, I feel that, like, you know, I feel that shit. Or okay. it's just like, I could listen to the project and there's not a lot of skips because I ain't gonna lie. It's I, all the projects I name. It's you know it's probably a song or two I probably skip or whatever the case may be. Right. But if it's majority of them songs is fire to me, yeah, it's a classic. Yeah. I don't care with nobody. It, it could be it could be um it could be a low tier rapper. You know yeah. if he if he if, or, or a local rapper. I'm not even gonna say a low well, tier. A local rapper if he drops some shit and I fuck with it. I'm like oh, that shit a classic. That shit hard. So let me ask you then. Do you feel like? the impact has anything to do with something being a classic because a yes. lower level rapper can make good music but yeah. of course naturally he's not gonna have the same the, impact, the impact as like a, you but know if like okay okay that's good how you said it because me like i do if like i said if i naturally just like it mm-hmm. that's cool but the impact i do i do agree with that like give you example like if you say um the rocky album like when he dropped that album i feel like it shifted music as far as like the the Manhattan, Soho, mm. Harlem, you know what I'm saying? It gave a lot, whole different perspective, like, of New York. Mm-hmm. Or, like, um, when Drake dropped um, Take Care, you know? And Heavy it man. changed everything, you know what I'm saying? So, Or yeah. My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. Or, or My that, Beautiful that Dark Twisted Fantasy, exactly. So, nah, yeah. I, feel you, I feel you, facts. So, describe your sound in three words. Someone who's never heard it before, they want to know, like, how is how does Corey St. Rose make them feel? Swaggy. Okay. Inspired. Okay. And um and hustle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I'm gonna make you wanna hustle. I'm gonna get you expired. And yeah, I'm gonna make you wanna put that shit on too. Period. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because we put that shit on. I'm chilling like today, but you know. <laughs> a lot of the a lot of the beats that you pick make me very much like Nah, fire, fire. Nah, I appreciate that. Nah, yeah. I'm big on beat selection. For mm. sure. So how do you pick your beats? Um, to be honest, I'm like, cause it'd it be times I even with Flash, like we'd be like listening to beats. Like mm-hmm. I could listen to something in two seconds and know I don't want it. Like mm. just this how it just make me feel. Like if I don't like if, give example, like I didn't even gotta hear the drums or anything. Like if I just like the sample. Damn, you don't wait till the, the drum kick in. Nah, sometimes you don't need to. That's a feeling. Like me personally, like especially if I'm rapping on it too. So mm-hmm. sometimes like it's a feeling thing. Like if I feel like you know, like oh yeah, or I just start rapping to it automatically. Then mm-hmm. yeah, I'm like yeah, I got I got rap on this. Okay, yeah. so you like natural, organic like, yeah, stuff. Yeah, feeling like you know, it's okay, a feeling, yeah. So now I get that from you because I heard you talk about MMM, yeah. and I know what you're thinking, folks. 
Mm. Mm, yes, sir. I thought so too. <laughs> so I heard you say that yeah. like it, it was very natural the way it happened. Like yeah, you just throw it in the bars. Like yeah. okay, so do you feel like? And I know that you had the at home studio now. Yeah. He's flexing. He's got the at home studio. Now. <laughs> so do you feel like things come more natural to you in that studio? Do you feel Hell more at yeah. home? Oh or- yeah, it's crazy you say that because like, like I could be in different studios. Mm-hmm. I could still catch a vibe. I could still do my thing, but it's like it's when I'm home. Mm-hmm. It's just something about that being at home vibe. I don't know. And then like it's the fact that like I can literally walk, wake up, walk to my studio, and just yeah. you know what I'm saying. So and just throw out ideas. And some of my like best songs like that did good on streaming mm-hmm. late at night. Like woke mm-hmm. up out my sleep or just tired or. Just came back from the crib. Well, I don't feel thoughts. like recording, but this beat sound fire, so let me put some on it. And it was like, oh shit, let me just mm-hmm. sound. A, you know, the song starts starting sounding fire, so I keep doing it. So yeah. So what type of environment do you like when you record? Are you like a nobody I want that around people me. around? Nobody. Nobody. Though. Really? I like being quiet. I'll be turning off mm. the lights, put a candle, light my blood, and I'm in there. Yeah. Really? Yeah, and I don't like too much people in the studio. Why not? I feel like it made me think too much because I feel like I'm trying to cater to them as well. Pressure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not even, like, not even pressure, just like, because like, when you in the studio by yourself, you can make a wax song and it's like, all right, whatever. Mm-hmm. But like, when there's other people in the studio, regardless of what, like, every, every song you do not going to be fucking fire. Right. But regardless of what, like, just other people in the studio, like, sometimes it makes me like, Damn, maybe I should cater to how they feeling because I don't see them head bopping. Them, mm. You know what I'm saying? So I like to just be in my own mind space. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Because okay. once you think too much, it's like you going it's gonna show you thinking too much. If that right. makes sense, yeah. Now you mentioned a wax song. Yeah. What is the indicator that a song is a hit versus a song oh, is it's, like it's whack? Yeah. Okay. A song is a hit. Beat. Okay. Flow. Okay. What you saying? And now, nah, not even what you saying. Just the flow, delivery, and the beat. Okay. That's literally, like that, as far as a hit. And then um, uh, a wax song, the complete opposite. Your flow horrible. Damn. The beat trash. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. Like I said, I'm big on the beat. Like, if I don't like the beat, I'm it's not gonna up. listen to the song. I'm sorry. Yeah. If I don't like the sample, I'm not listening to the song. Shit, try. <laughs> like, Damn. Right like, away, too. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. I know rap is not the only thing that you do. I know you yeah. get into fashion. So, tell us yeah. a little bit about the fashion style you. Um, what, what you want to know about the fashion? Like, tell us about the line. Tell us about think, okay. where, um, like, how you got that type of. So where did you get influenced to do that? Do like, the fashion. Yeah. All right. So first was it was definitely Rocky. Mm-hmm. Um, I used to um, wear, you know, back in the day, everybody wearing the Macy's Polo, True Religion, right, Robin right. jeans, on that shit. Classic. Classic, exactly. And then um, I went to the city. I used, well, I used to go to school in the city, mm-hmm. and Soho was like a ten minute walk. Okay. So I used to walk to Soho. Oh, you um, was one of those? Yeah, just walk to Soho <laughs> every day just for no reason. And then I had, it was a store called Atrium. Okay. People that used to go to Atrium, y'all know exactly what I'm talking about in Soho. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But I used to go to Atrium and um, look at the clothes and I used to peep like, oh, it, it's called more than Polo. It's called more than True Volition. What is this? Right. And then at the same time, my bro introduced me to ASAP Rocky and he was wearing all the fly oh, clothes yeah. that I didn't know about. But my boys knew about all this shit, and then I was like, oh, nah, this is fire. Like, I fuck with this. So that's what inspired me to do it. And then um, as far as, like, my brand, y'all got a brand called True Colors Worldwide. Period. Um, it was, actually, I wasn't trying to make it a brand at first. Literally, it was, like, a project I was doing, and mm-hmm. I just wanted to do some merch. I never tried it. So I'm like, you know, let me do, do some merch. And then... The sales from the merch did so good. I'm like, shit, I might as well make this shit no, a whole you brand. Should. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I made it a whole brand. And then, um, yeah, you know, we, we lit now. You know, I got a um, I got a new season coming out this summer. You know, we've been teasing Period. a lot of stuff. But, you know, we dropping with it. And then, um, shit. And then, yeah, we doing the modeling, too, for the fashion. We going Ooh, all out with it. Yeah. I know that's right. Well, make sure you send some merch to I gotcha. Token Town. <laughs> I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. Exactly. Got you. Got you now. So for sure. I wanted to play another game with you. Okay. We're gonna do this or that, but fashion edition. Okay. okay so you gonna tell me at least two people who really be having that shit on. Okay. All right. Okay. First one: okay. Rihanna or Tiana Taylor. T. 
Tiana Taylor, she fly as fuck. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. Tiana fly too, but Tiana fly too. Future Real or fun. Young Thug? Future. Okay. Jada or like Jada Wada or Ella Benz? Jada, like Jada Pickett Smith? I, I said Jada oh, Wada. Oh, Jada. Oh, Jada. Uh, <laughs> Jada Pickett Smith. <laughs> <laughs> I said a whole government. <laughs> <laughs> Why the hell would she be in it this? Is, I, I don't know. I don't Ella really think Benz. she known for having that shit on. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was like, Ella Ben's an obvious question. Like, what? Um, I say Ella. Okay. Okay. Lil Baby or Gunna? Lil Baby. Fab or Fabulous or Cameron? Fab. Yeah, for sure, Fab. Uzi or JT? <laughs> Uzi. <laughs> Why are you so weak? <laughs> nah, it was funny. Nah. <laughs> it was funny. A Boogie or Lola Brooke? <laughs> a Boogie, A Boogie. And the last one, Pharrell or Kanye? Kanye. Nah, Kanye. Kanye, Kanye, Kanye. Oh, that one almost stumped you. Yeah, because they both, yeah. They be having that yeah, they be shit, having on. That shit on. Yeah. That's a fact. Uh. So you seem like you're real, like, business minded as well. And of course, yeah. you have to be to market your music and market your uh, clothing line. And yeah. that makes sense because you did go back to school. Mm -hmm. Tell the people then what you majored in. Oh, business major. Yeah. Period. So and tell them that you got that degree. Yeah, I got the degree. Yeah, BMCC. Shout out to them. They know the world. I vibe. love that. And I love that yeah. you went back to school. So what yeah. inspired you to go back and get the degree? I know you mentioned earlier with your then, mom. So. Now, um, like, I, like I told you, um, the my guidance counselor called me and was just like, yo, come back. And I just felt like... I'm not doing nothing. It's the pandemic. I'm just saying. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it was This is like, the 30 it was, credits. It was yeah. a no-brainer type shit. So that was basically the whole reason. Like, I, I literally came back. But even before that, I was going back to school. But it was the mom purpose. It wasn't the... For, for oh, yourself. Yeah, 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 for myself purpose. Because at the end, when I graduated, it was like... You felt <laughs> like, a you sense of, I yeah, yeah, that's I, a fact. Yeah, I did that shit. You know what I mean? Period. <laughs> so, do you find yourself applying the things that you learned in college yeah. to your career, or do you feel like Pythagorean nah, theorem? Nah, I just, I just, you know, have that in the arsenal. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I got that. You know, mom holds, holds, you know, have it and continue with life and stuff. But no, but that there's nothing with nobody going to school. Like, you know, I got nothing against it. It's just it don't correlate with my life. Right yeah, now. yeah. But I mean, it's still an accomplishment under your belt. Yeah, so. yeah for sure, for sure. Yeah, oh, I'm telling my kids. And Absolutely, my people, yeah, everything. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So I saw you say that you were having doubts and you was ready to give up yeah. in terms of like this music shit. So yeah. what made you like really hang in there? And what words would you have for anybody that's also up and coming? When made okay, the first question was what made me not um, mm -hmm. give up. What okay, made you not so give up, yeah. it's a mixture of things. It's um, one I, I thought about. Um, I was always the person telling people don't give up, and then mm -hmm. how I look giving up. And then two, it was a mixture of um, my son like Flash that. over there. He ain't give up on me. Oh. You know what I'm saying? When stuff was hitting rock bottom, almost like he ain't give up on me. So I appreciate him. And then um, just um, I don't know. I still always felt like I had a puncher's chance, if that makes sense. Like the underdog, okay. like I just yeah. so it's just I, just because of like the people I knew and then how close I, I kind of was. Yeah. And then yeah, that's what basically like kept me going. And then um, advice for other artists, I'll be real. Just keep dropping, like just mm, keep consistency. dropping, being consistent. You feel yeah. me? Because I literally I was on a, I I had an interview yesterday and it was asked me like. What's something you really like pride yourself over, like with like, all your accomplishments? And I was like, they was thinking I was gonna say mad other shit. And I was like, nah, it's my consistency. Cause at least somebody that seen me from when I first started to now is like, I ain't gonna lie, my son, he don't quit. Like he right. at it, you feel me? And it's right. like, you know, that's something uh, you know, admire and shit. So yeah. We love that. So yeah, what's so. next for Corey St. Rose? What's shit. coming up? My new pro well, Maybach out right now. We got a new song out right that now. That beat goes dumb. Crazy, yeah. Shout out my boy Sprout. I ain't gonna yeah. lie, you went he went crazy. He, he um real quick, it's my one of my boys, he from New Zealand. I really gotta shout him out again. My son Sprout. I'll be cooking up with this man mm -hmm. and he's like fifteen hours away from me. Oh. And, like, we cook up on Discord, so sometimes, like, I have to wake up, like, 3, 2 in the morning mm -hmm. just so we could cook up. Like, just so we can, like, get a session on because by his side, it's, like, 
six, eight at night or some shit. Yeah. So like dedication, like you feel me? Dedication. But um, yeah, we got the Maybach coming out. We got the brand. We got more True Color stuff coming out. Must um. I'm about to drop my project real soon. I don't got a Ooh. date, but I just know it's coming out in the summer. Okay. Um, big features on it too. Like oh, shit. Change change your life features on it type shit. Um, oh, that's exciting. Can we get a hint? Or we can't get a hint. Now nah, we got um I got ATF Jacob on it. Oh yeah, he did a beat on it. So yeah, that's that's, that's gonna fire. Be crazy. Yeah. That's and it, it is not no turn up shit, it's something for the ladies. Okay. So yeah, cause I, I don't really do songs for ladies, so I got yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, look look be in tune for that. Um and then um yeah, my son Fly is dropping the flies. He about to drop his shit. And then yeah, we just just be in tune. Yeah. Great. But those are like the main things God we, we got coming up for sure. All right, you got a lot to look forward to, okay? Yes, sir. Thank you, Corey St. Rose, for coming to talk Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Thank y'all for watching. We out. Let's go.